I want to first say congratulations on getting your Steam Deck. It's been a real joy for me to have mine and be able to play so many different games and use so many different services on the device that I truly, truly enjoy it. And it is the goal of this video to kind of walk you through step by step getting Stadia, GeForce Now, or even xCloud up and running on the device itself. So if you guys have any questions after this guide, feel free to ask me below. Feel free to hit me up on Discord or over on Twitter if needed so I can help you play more games on the Steam Deck. Now, while this is gonna be primarily focusing in on Stadia as kind of the core component, you can see it up here running as I capture this video. Uh, this guide should be able to be kind of translated into any other uh, online service that is essentially going to stream games to you. Anyway, with that uh, kind of light introduction, hello everyone. My name is Brian. If you're new around here, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button. It's a great way to let YouTube's algorithm know that this is a good video. You can always leave a comment. And if you find very, uh, you know, like the best way to say thank you is share it out with anybody else who's looking for those things. If you haven't subscribed to my content, I talk about video games here, primarily RPGs. But I'd love it if you subscribe and check out my other videos if you get the opportunity. And again, like if you like I say, if you feel like I earn it. But I'm going to walk you through right now getting Stadia set up and running on your Steam Deck. And the first thing you want to do is you want to press your Steam button and you want to bring up your power menu. And from here, you want to go to re or switch to desktop. I said restart to desktop, but switch to desktop. And that's where our guide is going to officially begin. All right. So now that we have the desktop booted up, I'm going to take you into Discover Software Center. Uh, you can use the right thumb pad as your left click. The left thumb pad is going to act as your right click. And from here, you can do two things. You can either search, you can press the Steam and the X button to bring up your virtual keyboard that you see here. Pressing Steam and X will actually close that again. Or you can actually just search for it by clicking on applications, clicking on internet, and then finally clicking on web browsers. You're going to want to scroll until you find Microsoft Edge if you haven't searched for it. And it's usually down here a little bit on the bottom and using the thumbstick, it can be a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult. Now I already have it installed and you'll also see that they have the Microsoft Edge beta. At this time of recording, I went and installed the full version, not the beta, but I'm gonna leave the choice up to you on what you want to do. Now from here, you want to go ahead and click on your application launcher going back into internet and then finding Microsoft Edge. And here you wanna go ahead and right click it. And then you wanna say add to Steam. If I go ahead and click on this, it's gonna bring up a little add to Steam window box, which it'll allow me to add obviously Edge uh, to Steam and act as a game, kind of as that third party non Steam game. Now, once you've gone ahead and added Microsoft Edge to Steam, there's one thing you need to do, and it's actually give the browser access to the Steam Deck controller setup. To do this, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of console command. So again, go back into application launcher, go into system, and then what you're looking for is console right here to load up the terminal. From the terminal, again, pressing Steam and X to bring up your keyboard, you're gonna to wanna to type this out. And I'm gonna put this code actually for you in the description so you can kind of copy it if you desire and make it easy. All right, so with the command entered here for you on screen, also included in the description for you, but it's flatpak space dash dash user space override space dash dash file system equals slash run udev colon ro space com dot microsoft dot edge. Now, if you're looking to do this for Chrome or another browser, com dot google dot Chrome would be the command. And what this does is it grants you access to let your browser have all the controls of the Steam Deck, which will obviously be making it useful to play games on Stadia. So you would now press R2, uh, kind of the R stick, uh, not R2, yeah, R, the R trigger, you know, the right trigger to be able to enter this into, uh, you know, the, the command and it will then grant the browser access to the controller. All right, now that we've granted it access, you can see here, I've actually already configured Stadia with these properties and to make it kind of more useful and stand out. You can actually change the icon. So I just went out to and downloaded a Stadia like uh, icon so it shows up a little bit cleaner here, but you're gonna to wanna to go in and change your launch options. Now on the screen right now, I'm showing you the code specifically. It gets a little bit challenging as I kind of try to capture this information and display it here as a part of the capture software. So note that I'm just gonna display it cleanly and easy for you. You wanna type in these launch options after the at at you space at at which is low you know further down the way from what is usually on display here for you but you want to put these in because it will automatically force it to launch into stadia mode making it very clean and easy you don't actually have to have it force launch to stadia you could always just bring up the browser and just navigate to it but this gives it a real clean look 
when launching on the Steam OS. And with that, Stadia should be running. And while I would think that it actually would probably be a little bit easier or better looking because you wouldn't have these black bars as a part of how I have currently the game capturing on the capture card, I really hope that you uh, end up enjoying uh, doing this. Now, outside of Stadia, again, like I said, you could use this for GeForce Now or for xCloud. You would just have to go to the various different URLs. You could actually prog program that in as opposed to going to Stadia to any of those because the browser actually has access to the controller itself. Anyway, I hope this was useful. Hopefully you find something good out of this. Uh, and if you feel like I earn it, be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Check out maybe my other videos. That's a great way of filling your day with some hopefully awesome stuff uh, and some discussions around video games to talk about. Anyway, guys, my name is Ben Brian. This has been Ninja Prime. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. But until then, take care. Yeah. It's time to chill out on the couch and read some comments. That's right. You know me when it comes to destiny. I'm off with a clam and I'm glad you're feeling better. Ooh.